Hello and welcome to my workshop. So as you can see, we're going to be getting back on the uh, Rat Rod COE build. So this is a uh, kind of a slight tribute to the welder up truck. Uh, I've done a lot of work in the rear getting this forward. Uh, I need to get focused on the cab and then get the rest of all the other details finished up. All right, so let's get started. So I'm getting started out here using my uh, Cricut machine. I'm using this to cut out layers that will be la uh, later used to put together the emblems for the, uh, the side of the truck. So here I'm just kind of uh, cutting little spots here and there what may not have uh, cut all the way through. So this is 15,000 thick styrene and uh, the, the Cricut will pretty well cut through it but not always 100%. So I got this uh, this uh, CB antenna from Scale Metal Supplies, and it's a steel wire with a 3D printed base. And so I wanted to have it look the spiral look. So I'm just taking string and uh, winding it up, and then putting a heat shrink over the top to give it that look of the old school CB antenna. So a lot of the uh, panel lines in here, I wanted them really crisp and sharp. And so instead of trying to do that with uh, molding in and doing the vacuum forming, uh, I come back with this uh, scribe tool. And so I'm just making marks, uh, getting things uh, set up and lined, and coming back with the scribe tool and then uh, you know carefully scribing those lines in. Here's an up close shot. You can see where I uh, take the edge of the scribe tool and I get the line started and then I can come back and kind of flatten it out and then get the uh, get, get a little bit deeper and straighter. So I started off with these bomber seats and I wanted a little bit of a texture on it. So I went with this hammered paint, but it wasn't the right color. So then I came back with another color on top, and then I just uh, basically took some black, and um, I think it's a mix of gloss and flat, and gives you a little bit of a satin and, and painted the uh, seats. They're just taking a real world wrench and trying to color match that and get that thing painted up. So I found these uh, signs on the internet and they're just old signs that um, I printed off and now I'm uh, gluing down to some styrene. So I've been uh, jumping around on the cab and a lot of the details uh, to go on the cab, trying to get things finished up. Um, you know, as, as stuff dries, I'll move on to other things. So uh, starting off here, I have these uh, little bomber seats. These are 3D printed and just, uh, you know, painted these up to look like the, you know, the bomber seats and, you know, they fit the, the figure pretty well. I have a uh, shifter here. And so this is a 3D printed shifter. I cut the end off and I took a uh, wrench I had and I uh, glued that on and then painted that up to make it look like, you know, a regular pipe wrench. A little bit of rust effect on there and um, that should that should be pretty cool. Uh, just an axial ammo can, a little uh, canvas tarp there, and uh, this um, CB antenna, uh, scale metal supplies. I still have to paint the uh, 3D printed part down here, but it looks like this is a, like a piece of stainless wire. Uh, printed on in, into a uh, 3D printed end and what I did is I wrapped some string around it um, to give it that spiral look that the antenna, CB antennas have and then put some heat shrink over it um, 
the next thing are these emblems. They might be hard to see there, but there's an outline of the emblem here. And so they go right here on the side, and they're really tiny V8 emblem that goes right here in the front. So I have these chromed and cleared, and I got to come back over the top and do some weathering to make them look like they're kind of rusted up a little bit. And uh, then I painted up some the interior and mainly worked on the body. So I got the all the panel lines carved in, a lot of the fill work, sanding, uh, you know, all the little imperfections that I could find uh, taken care of and getting it pretty close to getting some color on here and start wet sanding this. So uh, let's just continue on with that. So my idea here is that, you know, the floor, floor pans and a lot of the interior parts uh, had some rust holes in it. So instead of actually patching it up correctly, uh, just use some street signs, cut them up, and then go into, you know, basically rivet it right over the rust holes. So you can see I've taken the silver sharpie to make it look like it's aluminum around the edge. Uh, it's amazing what a difference having these little details in here really does to make this interior sell. So for the interior, I didn't want to use just straight black. Um, give them a little more interest to this, so uh, I try to mix up a little bit of different off shades of black and, and using browns and different you know, grays and, and oily colors and things just to kind of give a little bit of interest. So I'm, so I'm using that to paint up the steering wheel and some of the interior parts. So now that the uh, the seats and the interior is dry enough, I have a clear coat over it, I'm just installing these bomber seats. But I think this is an actual piece of a uh, tarp. Uh, but I'm not really sure, but it's, uh, it's actually a pretty neat little scale tarp. It's all folded up, so I wanted to make it stay folded up. So I just put a little bit of su uh, super glue in between the layers, put the rubber band back around it came with just to, until it dried. Okay, so the interior is making really good headway here. I have a lot of the details in, but you know I still gotta want to come back and add a couple little things here and there. You know, it's nice to have pedals uh, if I can squeeze them in. It's got kind of a big guy here, but I think I can get something done in there. I uh, want to add in little um, little rivets or like little screw heads all along these uh, street signs I put in. But I do have a little uh, ammo can, a uh, tarp, the uh, wrench shifter, uh, obviously a little guy uh, paint. You know, got all the paintwork done, the the weathering, and I'm uh, pretty happy with that. So this, you know, will slip in from the bottom, and um, the dash is attached along with the door panels in here so I'll have to you know weather all this uh, from the inside when I do the weathering on the outside of this I also have these little uh, emblems they, these are for the uh, side of the hood right here and so that you know they go pretty much right around in there so what I've done is I uh, used the Cricut machine to cut out the layers uh, I think it was 15,000 thick and then put four layers I think together you know glued them together sanded down the edges and got them to you know the thickness rounded over to look you know just like the uh, the original one uh, painted them black and then painted it with a, the Molotov chrome pen and, uh, and then cleared them with the all clad and that made them nice and shiny and then I came back with some rust effects and uh, you know put rust along the bottom and uh, when that dried I uh, very lightly did a rust wash over it for also little t tiny 
V8 logo it goes right in the front right there. So uh, yeah, just a little bit, a couple details here and there. I think I'm gonna try to focus on getting the, the cab finished up. I need to add the drip rails. There's a pull handle, the door handle, uh, just a lot of little details I need to get on here and uh, get this thing ready for paint and weathering. All right, so let's get to that. So I thought it was kind of ironic or funny maybe that I was taking actual real hinges that, that functioned and uh, turning them into uh, scale hinges that uh, did not function. But essentially what I'm doing here is trying to figure out how I want to build these hinges. And I started out a couple different ways. What I ended up doing was taking the hinge and uh, squeezing it down in my clamp, cutting off and then, and then sanding down both ends just to use the middle part without the hole and uh, adding a piece of styrene to bulk up one side. So here I was marking out where the hinge needs to be and then taking a uh, small uh, rotary tool and uh, just kind of carefully carving that in. So this is a, uh, a quarter round styrene and so I'm, I'm just gently bending that into shape and then taking some solvent glue and uh, tacking that down to give it a appearance of a drip rail. So these trucks have a pull handle to, you know, to help you get up into the cab. And so I'm just taking a little bit of piece of metal I had and bending that around into shape. Okay, so the cab is uh, finished up and has its first coat of uh, paint on it, or paints, I should say, on this to get the weathering done. So started out with, you know, the gray as the base, went with a uh, rusty metal primer and a terracotta color, then a black primer. At that point, I taped off the hood. And I went with a uh, red color I have, and that red color is the same red color I used on the uh, the tailpiece. But I didn't. I used two red colors on that. I just used one on this. Then, as you can see, I kind of uh, came over the top of this with uh, a blue. And it's a different color blue than the tailpiece. But I did uh, pretty heavy on the door, um, both sides, a little bit on this fender and the steps and then lightly dusted other areas. Uh, a little bit heavier on the front, but uh, mainly focusing on the doors with the blue and like kind of lightly dusting. Um, so I want, when I sand this part back, I want most of it to be red and you know, a good part on the door to be to be blue. The hood, I after I got this done, I came back and just put some tape right here. See, I didn't do a great job taping, but you know, I'll sand this back and, and this will go away. But what I want the hood to be is mostly black with the top of it uh, that getting down to that rust or terracotta color. And then there'll be just slight uh, hints of this cream color. So hoping hoping that color scheme is going to work well. It probably looks really, really odd right now, but I, th I think it's going to work. Now to get to here, I needed to get these hinges finished. And so these are just actual regular just scale hinges. I bent them over carved them down, kind of squished it together, added some styrene on the back, some filler here and there, and got it to this shape to give me the a look of the uh, hinge. So in the rear, these little pull handles are the uh, flags you put in your yard when they come and do the digging. So you'll come out and stick those in. So anyway, that's just bent and, um, and glued into the side of the body. And, uh, you know, just got all the, the drip rail and all the the uh, body lines and everything cut in there. So, all right, uh, ready for some wet sanding? Let's see if we can get this patina worked out. So this is the, uh, I guess, the fun process of, of getting the weathering. It's a little bit, um, a little bit scary because you know if you go too far, then you know a lot of work has been gone into, into making this, so you could you know really make a mistake quick. But I guess the good part about the weathering is that, you know, sometimes those mistakes are, you know, kind of happy accidents. So um, just kind of go with the flow with this and not worry too much about it. But here I'm taking a 320 grit and getting that started 
to get the bulk of the material off. So another thing this does is it, it flattens out the uh, the paint, and getting it ready for a uh, clear coat to make it a you know, really nice finish. So I was trying to get this to have you know a little bit of a different look, like um, you know, one the 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 hood is obviously come from another vehicle but then the, the cab was a little more faded on the roof maybe on one side than the other and the doors and you know maybe it was partially blocked from the sun or you know trying to think through how this thing would be and so you know when I painted it I painted some areas heavier some areas lighter some areas I kind of misted and I, I kind of followed that same thought process when I was sanding um, you know this colors down. So this is a uh, real rust uh, metal, you know, metal effect. So it's got basically has metal or iron, I guess, into uh, a paint pigment, and uh, you just paint this on, let it dry, and then put a uh, a solution on top of it to uh, form the rust. And it does a really good job. It gives it a, a really nice look. And if you kind of glop it on, it'll give it that actual, you know, textured rust. Um, it, you know, it doesn't give it a real thick. You have to do other effects with that, but it, it gives you a, a pretty good approximation of that. Here just trying to get my uh, Westmade logo um, centered up the best I can onto the door. Always the uh, kind of fun and scary part when you're peeling the mask off and I was very happy with how well this mask material worked. It's the first time I'd used it. I've had it for a while, but I just haven't had a, a reason for it. But uh, really excited about some potential um, opportunities to use that in the future. I could uh, not be happier with how this cab is turning out. Uh, I have most of the work done, as you can see, but I still have uh, quite a bit more to go for this to be complete. You know, I still gotta work on the interior. Obviously, I stick my hand through. I need uh, glass front and rear. Uh, this actually has uh, vent windows here, so i got to make some vent windows. But, you know, it, it is coming along really nice, and what I've got done so far, I'm very proud of. So, starting off on the side, I have my uh, the Westmade logo. And what I ended up doing was taking the Cricut machine and cutting out the logo on stencil, and uh, then airbrushing this in with a custom orange color I, I blended together. Um, put some uh, brown and black wash on it to kind of darken it up in spots clear coat it and then came back over the top and wet sand and you know kind of gave it that weathered look to, to match the rest of the vehicle um, just kind of working around I have the uh, pull handles and I put on the uh, the brake and the turn signals you know they're non-functioning I have the uh, hood emblems glued in on the side and I'm not sure if you can really see it but a very tiny little V8 there in the front I've installed the grill, which I think you know matches up really nice, and um, just all in all, just extremely happy with how this thing has turned out. The uh, you know nice, good, nice uh, shine to it. I think the patina is just right for me. <clears throat> not too much, not too little. You know, it's got some rust here and there. Still got some paint. Um, you know, I still got to come back and add the antenna in the back, but I need to paint that first. All right, so let's get to that. A little uh, scary and nerve-wracking to drill into, you know, your your finished product, but I do that to add these 3D printed door handles. I bought this uh, rubber um, material. I'm not really sure what it's for, but it's got a little bit of a texture on it. It's a very fine texture. I use that as a uh, step cover for the uh, the side steps. A really cool little uh, CB antenna and uh, just getting that mounted to the back and uh, trying to figure out and size up um, windshield wipers 
It's always t it's one of the toughest things to do is get their windshield wipers for these custom vehicles, you know, because the angles and the way things are made. But I found this pair, uh, and I think they work really well. So I'm just uh, getting those cut down a little bit, and I'm drilling out the holes, getting them ready to mount. So I think I'm at a pretty good stopping point uh, for this video. Uh, really happy with the with the progress that I've got here. You know, I said I've got all the the paint job pretty much on the outside complete. Uh, I have uh, a lot of the emblems and grills and little items added. You know, the the I have door handles, little uh, rubber um, pads for the uh, steps, the uh, CB antenna in the back. You know, just lots of little little details. Uh, the interior. Extremely happy with that as well with the you know the stop sign and and all the different street signs in there for you know patching up the the holes and um, You know, it's pretty simple basic interior. Like I said this pops in there's a dash and door panels, but um, That's what I need to focus on next is getting the uh, dash and the door panels and all that sorted out and uh, Get some uh, windows uh, I started working on the windshield wipers but I need to finish those up and uh, you know a lot of little little things to go but uh, like I said making really good progress I also have a lot of the details on the chassis to finish up and um, but you know we'll have to get to that next time really excited about the things coming up lots of uh, fun projects until then we'll see you in the rocks Yeah.